on this episode, how to fill your pipe. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the quarter show. Again, I want to talk about how to fill your pipe. Uh, we had a sales muster and, and uh, one of our newer sales guys talked about, uh, asked a question actually. Uh, he kind of had a bit of a skimpy skimpy pipe and was kind of wondering like how do I actually fill this thing? And it's, it's a relevant question. So to get tactical on that, you know, you have to think about something that, number one, like what are you excited about? What excites you? What is something that you can talk about over and over and over again? Or some new idea or some fresh idea that you can take as sort of a one trick pony and, and bring that out to some, uh, bring that out to the market, bring that out to your prospects and start thinking about that one thing. What do you want to talk about? You know, and it could be different for everybody, but I would advise if you're trying to build your pipe, take something like one single idea and, you know, that you want to talk about and write that down and figure out exactly what that sort of basic pitch is and take that to the market. And, and it, it will evolve when you have conversations, it'll evolve into you solving problems and you coming up with different things like that. But I would encourage you to come up with some idea that you're excited about that you can happily talk about, you're interested in and take that to the market. Then go to your CRM, right? Or whatever, past lineups or whatever, and build something that has, you know, a hundred names on there um, and, and start emailing them one-to-one, one-to-one email their, your basic idea, type a basic email, not too long, maybe a hundred words. Ben had success recently, in fact, the other day. Um, Don't, that's a secret, man, that's a secret sauce. Okay, I'm gonna tell a secret here, but <laughs> sort of one-liner, simple, one sentence. Anyway, write something that's simple, hundred words or less and take that idea and put that in front of them, okay? One-to-one, -one, not bulk mail, one-to-one -one and send those out. Then follow that up with a phone call, talking about that idea, leave a voicemail if you don't get them, definitely leave a voicemail, talk about that basic idea, right? And if you do get to them, just kind of say, look, I have an idea, here's the idea that I like to talk about, here's, here's what I was thinking about, here's what I think we should do, blah, blah, blah. And, and use that idea to sort of just get in front of people. And so you've emailed 100 people, you've called 100 people, go and make sure that you've connected with every single one of them on LinkedIn, right? And when you connect, you can, even in your intro message when you connect, you can put something about the idea in there. You don't have to solicit, you don't have to spam people, but put something in there that, that alludes to the idea uh, and, and spark some conversations. And out of that 100, you're gonna get three, four, or five, maybe more people where you've had some discovery calls. You can actually set up discovery calls and from there you can get them proposals. But sometimes you just kind of do that tedious sort of groundwork and those are the steps. Come up with an idea, hit them with the one-to-one, -one, follow it up with a phone call, and even take it as far as potentially put a proposal together for that one idea with the pricing, with everything, and prep it and put that out in front of them as well so they now have something to talk about and you're following up throughout the week on those things. and. Not everybody's gonna respond, but you might get four or five responses, and four or five responses may equal a good week for you. Uh, I know it would for us, you know, uh, for, if you're a sales rep, you know, that might mean uh, a decent sized week for, for that sales rep specifically. So that's how you do it, and you can sit there and you can wait for people to respond back to you. You can sit there and wait for somebody to have a, have a, a need or what am I gonna do and you're waiting for that inflow, that's a bad way to sell. That's a bad way to, to go about it. You, are the, are, you orchestrate your week, you control the outcomes, uh, and that means that you've gotta get behind it and figure out, sorry, people are doing some, uh, I think they're doing some ceiling work or something, I don't, I don't know what it is, but, um, but you, you control the week and you sort of manipulate the universe to, to get the outcomes that you want. It doesn't happen by itself. People are busy and distracted. They're not just gonna come to you necessarily. They will, but you don't wanna just rely on that. Um, yeah, because they don't come in the right volume. Another thing that you added this morning was also like, let's say you have a pipeline and it has a number of people on it and you have the idea or you've been given the impression somehow that this person or that person isn't responding or doesn't need or want what you have. You pointed out, 
there's someone over there that does. There's, there's, some, there's yeah. someone over there that does have a need, for sure. And sometimes you'll interact with, with a certain strata of folks who are busy doing their thing and work, 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 and whatever, but it, it's, it's the person maybe in the C level that's really paying attention to the thing that, that your product has to do with, really paying attention to the revenue, yeah. really paying attention to, you know, whatever, different, different metrics or different logistics or things for their company. So your immediate contact might not be the right one, the one that's in your CRM might be, be the wrong one. Find another person, right? Put a call in and put and, and sort of segue over to that person and put that email over to them, put that you know phone call over to them, make an introduction sort of via knowing the other person and things like that. But being in sales, you really have to problem solve, you really have to innovate, you really have to come up with these ideas and keep in mind that if you end up at zero at the end of the week or a very you know successful week, all of that is completely up to you. You control those things and it comes down to the actions that you take right now, the actions that you take uh, every day that help pave the way for that. Those are the things that are gonna make the difference. So never look at your pipe and think, oh, I got a skimpy pipe. If you have a skimpy pipe, it's because you created a skimpy pipe. If you have a huge pipe, it's because you created a big pipe, right? It's, there's no, I mean, you can rely on stuff just coming to you, but that's just a dangerous way to go about it, right? So. Take actions like what I just laid out, go and do them. Really, really, really do them. And you'll see, at first you might be like, oh, this is pointless, this is a waste of time. Um, but if you do it enough, it adds up. It adds up and you start getting the cycles in. Next thing you know, you're stacked and you're busy. And then go do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Okay, there you go, hope you like it. If you like it, hit like. Uh, and uh, love to have you share it with your uh, your sales team, and then hit that little bell notification thing down there if you want to uh, be be notified when new shows come out. Okay, thanks.